Hello and welcome back to the Old Soul Millennial channel. About a year ago now, I built a logging Jeep Crane trailer in which I tow behind my little Craftsman LT2000 lawnmower. The purpose of that trailer is to allow me to winch up large rounds of wood into the back of the trailer, tow the trailer over to my log splitter, and then lift up those rounds once more and gently lower them down onto the log splitter. It saves my back. Anyway, the main component of that Jeep Crane trailer is a Harbor Freight electric 2500 pound wireless winch. Unfortunately, the wireless winch controller has failed. Fortunately, I was able to find a replacement wireless winch controller on Amazon. So in today's video, I'm going to wire this into the existing winch. However, before I do that, I figure now would be a good time to talk about how a wireless winch controller works in conjunction with a winch solenoid. So let's talk about the wiring. Now before I show you my crude wiring diagram, let's go over the basics of this wireless winch controller. So here is the wireless winch controller. Coming out of this winch controller are five wires. The blue wire is the antenna. The black wire is the ground. The red wire is the constant 12 volt line, so there always has to be 12 volts of power going to this line in order for this to function properly. And then we have the white and the yellow lines. These two lines are functions one and functions two. So for example, when you hit out on this wireless winch controller, that will supply 12 volts of power to either the white line or the yellow line. And when you hit in, that will reverse. So say we hit out, you supply 12 volts of power to the white line, and when we hit in, that may supply 12 volts of power to the yellow line. So basically they reverse and that allows you to extend the winch or draw it back in. All right, now let's go over my crude wiring diagram. I'm gonna do the best I can to explain this to you. So first thing I wanna mention is that a wireless winch controller will not work unless you have a solenoid in your system. A solenoid is a critical component. Without it, this will be useless. So let's start by going over the four main components that you see on this wiring diagram. Obviously we have the winch, the wireless winch controller, the battery, and then the solenoid. First, I think we should start with the solenoid. Now with that solenoid, there's gonna be seven connections. There's gonna be four main lugs within this square right here, and then there's also gonna be three other connections right here. So first, I would like to start with these four main connections. Now opposing one another, one of these lugs is going to connect directly to the battery. And by the way, this should be a fuse line. Whenever you run anything directly off the battery, always have a fuse as close to that battery terminal as possible. And opposing that 12 volt battery constant line to the solenoid is the main ground. So obviously that main ground should go back to the negative side of the battery. But that ground also needs to connect to the ground on the solenoid and it also needs to connect to the lug in between the function one and function two inputs into the solenoid. It's also important to note that we need to supply a constant 12 volt source of power to the wireless winch controller. And we're gonna use the red, uh, well, the constant 12 volt lug on the solenoid here. So coming directly off the battery, goes to the solenoid, also gonna send power to the wireless winch controller, ground, ground to the negative side of the battery, and also a ground here. Hopefully I've explained that well. Now, when you hit out on this winch controller, that's gonna supply 12 volts of power to either F1 or F2. So let's say when we hit out, that supplies power to F1. What will happen, there will be a 12 volt supply of power that goes into this connection right here, and the solenoid will then supply power to one of the output lines that go directly to the winch. So say for F1 out, uh, it'll supply power to this line. This connection is gonna go directly down to one terminal on the winch, and that's gonna tell the winch to spool one way or the other. If we hit the opposite line, we hit in, say that sends power to F2. So on the F2 line, 12 volts of power, solenoid will tell the winch uh, by way of 12 volts of power to this terminal to spin in the opposite direction. So. If I didn't mention it already, these other two connections on the solenoid are for the F1 and F2 yellow and white wires on the wireless winch controller. Uh, and then of course, the blue wire antenna. So that's pretty much it. So let's go wire this in. So there's the Harbor Freight 2500 pound winch. I've opened up the wiring box and here's everything that was inside the wiring box. So here we have the main solenoid. We just spoke about this. 
This lug right here is the 12 volt line directly off the battery that also supplies 12 volts of power to the wireless winch controller. This is the faulty one by the way. We're going to put the new one in here momentarily. We also have the main ground opposing that and then on the left and right side we have the outputs, the output lines, this red, or excuse me, this red and black line. These two lines go directly up to the winch. Okay. So if I flip this solenoid around to the other side, we have the white wire and the yellow wire. So we have the F1 input, F2 input, could be one way or the other. But I'm going to take out my power probe. Sorry, the light's going to affect this video a little bit, but I'm going to supply 12 volts of power to the white line, then 12 volts of power to the yellow line connection. And I just want you to hear the motor. You could hear it reverse. So again, that just confirms our wiring diagram. When you supply 12 volts of power to one side, it's gonna have the winch go one way. Supply 12 volts of power to the other terminal, it's gonna have the winch spool in the opposite orientation. So now let's disconnect the battery and then let's replace this wireless winch controller and let's test out the new one. See if the new one works. We'll disconnect the yellow and white wires, but I guess those are gonna put up a fight too. There's one. Why did that come out so easy that time? We also have the black ground here. Now let's attempt to disconnect the main ground lug on the solenoid. This is going pretty smooth. Alright, I call that successful. Now we also have to disconnect the main power supply lug connection. So with a little bit of persuasion, I was able to remove the nut off the battery supply lug on the solenoid here. But I want to show you something that bothers me. This is the battery supply line. This goes directly to the battery. In between the battery supply line, and the battery supply line lug on the solenoid, they decided, the manufacturer decided to put this connection. This is the wireless winch controller 12 volts power supply line. I, I don't know why you would put that in between the main battery supply line and that lug. Now why that bothers me? There's a pretty good amount of current going between this battery supply line and the 12 volt supply lug on the solenoid and you don't want to have any disruptions in that current by putting that little connector 12 volt supply line uh, for that winch controller in between this supply line and this lug you're creating resistance so this in the future should be directly in contact with this lug so that's how I'm going to reinstall it but anyway we have the old wireless winch controller completely removed now we can start reinstalling the new one all right let's start connecting the new wireless winch controller to the solenoid. I did have to change some of the connectors in order for everything to work with the lug sizing on the solenoid, but no big deal, nothing to it. Anyway, let's start connecting the main battery connection to the solenoid. And again, also we're gonna connect the red line, constant 12 volt supply line to the wireless winch controller onto this lug as well. And unlike the original manufacturers, I'm going to ensure that the battery supply line is in direct contact with the positive lug on the solenoid here. Again, yeah, unfortunately, not enough clearance to get a Phillips head screwdriver in there, so I'm going to take a small pair of needle nose pliers and hold it the Phillips head side of this fastener in place. An eight millimeter driver, get that lug good and tight. She's good and tight, I tell you. 
All right, now it's time to make our negative connections to this solenoid. Again, the negative terminal is gonna be opposite the main battery supply connection to the solenoid. So this lug right here is gonna be our main ground connection. So that's gonna connect to the main ground off the battery. It's also gonna connect to the wireless winch controller black line, the ground line. And then I also have this jumper I'm gonna use. So this is gonna to connect to that lug. And from there, it's gonna to connect to the connector in between uh, function one and function two connections. So this center lug, well, it's not a lug, it's more like a pin, slide pin. That's where our other ground is gonna be. So let's start putting this together. Now I'm going to take this ground jumper and I'm going to connect it to the middle pin. And then finally I'm going to take the white and yellow wires and from the factory I guess the yellow wire went here and the white wire went here. So let's try that if we find that the winch is working in the opposite orientation then we could simply swap these wires and then it should work in the correct orientation. Okay, now let's reconnect the battery and give it a test. Now let's give her a test. So the only thing that kind of annoys me with these remotes, they take a special battery. They take a 23A 12 volt battery, which is a special battery, so I'll probably have to order a couple extra of these. Uh, it is nice that the kit does include two remotes, but you gotta make sure you shut these off, otherwise you're gonna be going through a lot of batteries. I'm sure I'll learn my lesson pretty quick, but let's turn it on and let's see if we have everything wired in the correct orientation. So I'm gonna start with out. And the winch line's going out. And in. Gonna conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.